Hi YouTube, Eden Roy here um, and in this video I'll be teaching you on how to root your Samsung Galaxy S Mini 5570. Now before we begin we need to make sure that we have our drivers installed. Now the easiest way to do that is to install Samsung keys. Let me sorry, let me show you um, the keys thing. Here we have uh, Samsung keys. Um, it is actually an official. Uh, it is an official Samsung software, so you can get it from Samsung's website. Uh, however, don't worry about all those things. I'll be putting everything in the description of this video, uh, so you can download um, all the things that I'm mentioning in this video from that link. Now, once you have installed keys uh, just to be on the safe side I would want you to install one more thing uh, that will be Samsung USB drivers now don't worry about that as well um, it's just a precautionary thing to ensure that you know you have all the drivers installed um, which again you can find from the description uh, of this video now software that I'm going to use to root my Samsung Galaxy Mini will be super one click um, now for that first of all let me show you the device here I have my mini um, you can see and uh, I need to show you this that uh, it's not rooted now how do I show you that um, see the device yeah see there is no su command in this device not right now which actually we'll be looking at after we root it now what do we do we plug in our galaxy mini to the laptop now I would recommend you to use a computer which won't go off alright because you know during the rooting process if your phone reads three stars or if the computer dies or something like that or if your cell phone's battery dies you might break your phone so you should ensure that you should have a full battery uh, it should be charging with this and it should be more than 80 percent it is 78 percent for me right now if you can see that and uh, other than that you need to make sure see I'm using a laptop if you can see this is you know I'm using a laptop now the software that I'm talking about is super one click uh, here we have super one click again you can find all these links in the description let me zoom in uh, super one click let me open it I opened it now as you can see as you can see there is the root there is the shell root which is temporary root now I must add I have tried to try this one but it uh, didn't work on my mini so I wouldn't really recommend it uh, and then you have this unroot option now this is like really cool once you root your phone you void the warranty and uh, this software allows you to unroot the phone again which actually you know puts your phone back in the warranty what more would you want and then there's this driver check and the donation thingy and all that now let's start uh, here is my phone it's plugged in uh, to my laptop and uh, I'm gonna start the rooting process here I go and then I click root see now super one click has started it has started with killing ADB server okay and all that it will take about one minute um, yeah. so let's just wait it says waiting for the device if you can see it says wait. yeah and my device just plugged off and plugged in all by itself it's mounting something oh cool yeah, it says it's rooted so that's cool and getting mount path
gathered already. Yeah, finally. Okay, now everything is done. Now it says, Busybox was not found. Would you like me to install it? Now, Busybox is a software. Oh, I hate this. Busybox it is it's a software which um, is required by some root apps. But for now, let's okay. Let's just say yes, and it's installing it. Um, now see, this is the cool thing. Root files have been installed. Would you like to run a test? Let's run a test. Yes. NSU command will now be sent to your phone. You might have to select allow super user. Now click OK. Your device has been rooted. Would you like to donate now? Oh, we are not donating right now. Uh, now it even says here, um, don't forget to reboot. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Here I have the phone with me and uh, I'm going to power up restart it previously I uh, actually did break a phone let's just remove it from the computer for now I did break a phone uh, initially um, that was something wrong I did and that was a green lime colored uh, mini I had uh, this one is actually black and I ha I bought a new back cover for it. It is not the textured one, and I liked it more. It just gives it you know more sleek look and all that. Okay, now the my phone is off. I'm going to restart it. Sorry about the screen that much. Is just because of the protector. Now it's restarting. Now we have already seen that uh, it didn't have the SU uh, super user. Um, icon there. No, I'm just going to show you how. Obviously, it's going to be there. Now it's starting. Let's just get back when it starts. Let's see what the super user looks like. See now, we are rooted. We have a super user icon right here and which means we are rooted now just a point of caution back up everything back up every every everything uh, before you root back up your SD card back up your contacts back up just back up everything before you root and um, other than that I think you're safe to go just in case you would have any issues uh, regarding it, um, I hope you wouldn't. But just follow these steps. Um, hopefully, God willing, you won't be having any issues. And um, that's about it. Let me know. Comment, rate, like, just share everything or anything that you like. And let me know and I'll be coming up with new videos.